Hi, this is Vishendra with another important uh, lecture video from the playlist Measurements in Instrumentation. Here, it's a sensitivity of a Wheatstone bridge, but it's a continuation to my previous video. I'll be providing you the link in the description box. You can find it in the description box. And here, uh, getting back to the actual topic, the current through the galvanometer here, the whatever current is flowing through the galvanometer under unbalanced condition, IG, uh, is this one like uh, we have we can see a relationship between the current and uh, uh, the deflection made by the pointer of the galvanometer no current no deflection more the amount of current through the galvanometer uh, the deflection is more so how to put that in an equation here the theta uh, the deflection made by the pointer of the galvanometer theta is directly proportional to i g this is what and theta ig on either side as it is we need to have a constant of proportionality which is equal to something si now this si is known as the current sens sensitivity of the galvanometer si is known as the current sensitivity of the galvanometer now it's a uh, expression expressing the bridge sensitivity sb in terms of current sensitivity of the galvanometer for that we need to evaluate this one and for that, uh, to evaluate IG, we need to have the Thevenin's equivalent uh, circuit of this one, of the bridge. And for that, we need to have the equivalent resistance. How to get that? We have a procedure, uh, current through this loop. So this has to be opened up. Okay, this has to be opened up. And can I do a small modification? If the connecting wire is inside like this one, can I take it out? Yeah, we can take it out here. Let it be A and uh, this one over this side, let it be B. Right. And on the other hand, power supply should be short circuited. Power should be short circuited like this one. So another small modification over here. What if I shot from inside like this one? Now it will be more clear to understand uh, R1 and R2 are in parallel here. This is my A point A and uh, going ahead R1 is in parallel with uh, R2 and these two yeah this is in parallel and continuing this one this one this line and on the other half r3 is in parallel with uh, r4 this is the way we can show r3 is in parallel with r4 right and this b being b now how to reduce this one this is r2 how to reduce this one uh, r1 parallel to r2 and this is in series with uh, r3 parallel to r4 right this one and uh, even more going ahead this will be r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 this is how we write the parallel combination plus r3 into r4 by r3 plus r4 this is what okay and this will be the equivalent resistance r equivalent this is the r equivalent we need to obtain Thevenin's equivalent of this uh, circuit so we need to have r equivalent of this one right and going ahead yeah we need to have uh, still another simplification what if uh, all the resistances are equal r1 equal to r2 equal to r3 equal to r4 equal to r in this now uh, r equivalent takes another form that is r equivalent will be equal to here itself if this is r uh, if these are equal r into r that will be r square in the denominator by r plus r 2r plus even this will be if these two are equal that will be r square upon uh, 2r and now simplifying even more this will be 2r in the denominator taking the lcm and it will be 2r square one of the r gets cancelled and even two gets cancelled so if this is the credential with all uh, with all the resistance being equal r equivalent will be only r left with only r now this is important we need to plug in this condition somewhere else here Right, and the th with this one we can draw the Thevenin's equivalent. Like uh, for the Thevenin's voltage VTH, VTH we have th uh, the Thevenin's equivalent circuit of this one is we need to have VTH, VTH on this side, and here comes our R equivalent, and uh, here is our A point A and B this one a and b here we need to have the galvanometer connection here and not only this we need to have the internal resistance of the galvanometer like this one 
uh, what is that internal resistance a galvanometer the entire construction the galvanometer is made up of a metal and metal will be having some internal resistance that is the internal resistance of the galvanometer r g is the internal resistance of the galvanometer and current i g will be flowing inside like this one i g okay so according to ohm's law what will be i g i g will be equal to i g will be equal to v t h upon r equivalent plus r g this is the expression for i g from the thevenin's equivalent of the bridge circuit we are talking about right now this should be plugged over here what is theta coming back here what will be theta theta is si uh, nothing to do with si ig is that one vth upon r equivalent plus rg right r equivalent plus rg and uh, yeah this theta is substituted for the expression for sb sb is defined as sb bridge bridge sensitivity is defined as a deflection for a fractional change in resistance r4 this is the definition for the bridge sensitivity and substituting the uh, the value of theta over here what it is as this comes down si into vth by r equivalent plus rg this is from and we need to plug in this one so that is del r by r4 goes up del r by r4 goes up r4 now we cannot stop with this over here we need some another we have some another expression for vth from my previous video uh, that have to be plugged in over here uh, here that will be so going ahead sb will be will be equal to si as it is si and uh, r equivalent sorry r equivalent plus rg also as it is in the denominator into del r into r4 as it is right and vth has some another form that is supply voltage v into fractional change in resistance del r into r3 upon uh, r3 plus r4 whole square you can find this one right you can find this one rewriting it again uh, this is my expression which i have rewritten over here for simplification right uh, something gets cancelled which is common in the numerator and denominator here del r gets cancelled del r which is in the numerator and uh, denominator gets cancelled and uh, another simplification here itself what if we have the what if the credential of the withstand bridges r1 equal to r2 equal to r3 equal to r4 equal to r when all the resistances are equal this changes to here this sb bridge sensitivity sb will be equal to si current sensitivity of the galvanometer nothing to do with it and supply voltage v and here it will be r square r into r r square upon and r equivalent if, with all these if this is the condition r equivalent will be r i have proved, already proved it r equivalent will be r plus r g into now this will be here it's a r plus r 2r 2r whole square it will be 4 r square right in this expression this uh, r square in the numerator in the denominator gets cancelled finally uh, bridge sensitivity sb is left with si it's uh, s don't get confused si into v upon four times of r plus r g yeah match this answer with your answer this is my final expression for uh, bridge sensitivity of a wheatstone bridge in terms of current sensitivity previously it was voltage sensitivity now it's a current sensitivity this is the current sensitivity of the galvanometer supply voltage uh, total resistance of the bridge circuit and uh, internal resistance of the galvanometer this is what if you find this useful important please share my video subscribe
help me reach more students stay tuned to shendra's engineering tutorials thank you so much